Hi, welcome to your Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. His name is Mike Brenner. It's week two in the NFL. This is our Friday uh, wrap-up show where we uh, wrap up, uh, where we summarize all the information we've gotten over the weeks and review the picks that we've uh, already given in the videos and add anything on if we want or take it back by taking the other side if we want. NFL week two. Mike Brenner, let's uh, throw the record up. We only had a few picks. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm two and two right now. You're four and four. So, uh, you know, okay. small, tiny sample size, but, yeah. but we shall yeah. see. It's a breakout uh, weekend. That's I right. All right. It, so let's go over uh, your pick. Uh, Green Bay, we both took Green Bay yep. opening. We'll talk about that in a second. You also <laughs> took Denver minus five and a half. Yep. You also, uh, in our call with Al McMorty, wound up tailing him, New Orleans, plus four and a half. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like that's a pretty good uh, tail really right there. Like and it. you also took New England at minus six and a half. And you've also got a 10-point tease, the Pats, Green Bay, and Denver. Yep. And my picks, I also went on you with Green Bay. We're really going to have to talk about that. I also, <laughs> I took, that I also took the Jags at plus three, plus 111, which, <laughs> I, which I'm really liking. I also took... Cleveland plus seven minus one fifteen, which I'm balls, definitely play liking. Of the day. Yep. I also took Washington minus two and a half minus one twenty, which I'm feeling okay. Another about. big balls play of the and day. And then this one could bite me in the ass, or I could sneak away with a with a free unit. I also uh, went with you on the Pats, but I took them on the money line minus two seventy seven oh, at I, Pinnacle. I, 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 I think they're going to win. Well, because going. if they lose, I lose. Almost Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. is every bit of what Tom. Not every bit, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you, he's a product of Tom Brady. Yeah. Guys, don't panic. Yeah. And then I also took the over forty two in Miami, New England, which uh, I'm a little bit concerned. About because there is some the, the weather has gotten the, the the forecast is predicting a little bit more inclement weather than Ooh, less so uh, yeah. I'm not too jazzed about that but that's okay overall I'm okay jazzed. with my I haven't picks. heard that saying in a while Mike Brenner uh, how are you feeling about your picks well let's start talking I'm about feeling pretty jazzed let's talk yeah, let's talk about Green Bay we're both on them uh, you know we, we we heard some opinions that uh, you know I can understand why I'm expecting that that when I talk to Brent this one game I'm going to ask him specifically he's going to tell us that the public is all over Green Bay yeah. and that sharp action came in on Minnesota and I can understand that I'm just not really sold on the offensive line is questioned. They're, they're not opening holes. The quarterback issue, it's, I, I just don't feel like... I, I don't either. I think it's more or less it. they're looking at a lot of past results mm -hmm. or something. I don't know what they're looking at, but you know, you got... It doesn't matter if Bradford's under center. You have a team that's trying to put it all together. They're trying to do the chemistry and that does not happen overnight. And you got Adrian Peterson that's mm -hmm. another year older. Pete, yeah. I don't get it, but I am absolutely very, very comfortable still with the Packers because they are go they're going to have to finally get that killer mentality yeah. back. And I think they do and it. You're going to stick with it. All right. I'm, I'm sticking with I'm it. I'm happy about my Washington pick. I took two and a half minus 120. Now it's up to a minus three minus 105 yeah. at Pinnacle. Let's talk about one game that we didn't really get to. Uh, and I'm thinking about giving a, a pick on it. It's Cincinnati at Pittsburgh, right? Now this is a big rivalry now, yeah. right? Big rivalry. Uh, you know, it, it, the, the road team tends to do well. They these, always do. Right? I was, they always I was do talking well. to a buddy of mine this morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, and so if, if you take Cincinnati, you can even get, you can get three or three and a half at, at some places still at Pinnacle. You can still get three and a half at about minus 120 or so. Uh, I'm thinking about adding that onto my slate. What do you think? I wouldn't talk you off the ledge because there's, there's a part of me that says that Pittsburgh might take a deep breath after that win last mm -hmm. week. And they yeah. might not overlook, but they may not just have as much solid energy out of the gate like they did. And Cincinnati, what's happening with them? All right? mm -hmm. Trust me, this might have Cincinnati written all over it. Yeah, you think that Cincinnati had, I mean, because Pittsburgh, they're undeniable. Until Roethlisberger or some of those uh, yeah. you know weapons on offense get injured, yeah. they've got a potent offense, right? They do. There's no doubt. And There's so no the question. They still have the number 30th defense in passing right. last year, and that has not changed a whole lot. They had a good game last game, but. Shit gets real weak. Does too. Cincinnati have what it takes on the roster in terms of talent yes. to be a good There's, bet to hang? Absolutely, with him? there's no doubt. Right. AJ Green knows how to win yeah. in Pittsburgh. He's done it. Dalton's done it. You know, this isn't a first time. And uh, I really like the fact that Pittsburgh coming off that win, it might have taken a deep yeah. breath and going, might have exhaled. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to add it on. I'm going to take Cincinnati plus three and a half yeah. at about minus one twenty or so, yeah. Mike Brenner. Hey, listen, there is yeah. one more thing I need to tell you because my buddy Tommy T from the NC again mm -hmm. tapped in on this one. Huge Dolphin fan. Mm -hmm. All right, they got that new coach, Adam Gas. He doesn't play games. All right, they got this running back that's up and coming named Ajay, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, he got shitty in practice, made mm -hmm. some big wig, and Adam Gass told him, guess what? I'm not even worried about it because you won't even make the flight, mm. right? I might not even let you travel. This guy's trying to tell him, do you know who I am? And apparently, Adam <laughs> Gass showed him real quick who he was. So, but he did leave the door open. You, you change your ways. You show me a pattern. You might go with us. If that guy gets in the game, Tommy says, look out. He's able to rip off 150 yards because mm -hmm. he's pissed. He's got some motion behind it. Now, if it was 
was anybody else except for New England where they're going, mm -hmm. uh, I would say jump on it. Right. But I had to throw it out there because Tommy T, he really, he nails these things. He's got some good info. All right, let me ask you about this. Atlanta and Oakland, we didn't really uh, discuss uh, that either. Uh, you know, how high are we on Oakland right now? Do you want to take them at, uh, you know, Heritage as minus four, which is kind of an off number. The This line is all over the place. It's four and a half market wide, but Heritage, a sharp book, has minus four. The Greek, a sharp book, has minus five. So this, and I can understand why the yeah. sharp books are in disagreement there. What do you think? I'm tempted to take, I don't know, Oakland on the I know, and i got to keep my emotions think? out of it because yeah. Oakland's a team that last week did very well for both of you and I. But for it me, close. it was close. Yeah, close. it was close, but they got Heart it done. Heart Attack City. Yeah. They got, yeah. Heart, Heart Attack, Attack City, City I love it. But on the other hand, the flip side of that coin, I was sold more on the Falcons than I was mm -hmm. Oakland, and they just, you talk mm -hmm. about a, a classic pistol Pete saying, it bit me in the ass. Mm -hmm. So i got to lay off of it. But you know why? Because I've learned and I've gotten wiser as I've done this. If I have any emotional yes, attachments, yes, i got to yes, stay the hell yes. away. All right, another uh, thing. I'm, yeah, another one I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about some of these totals. Let's just go over some of the totals sure. here. I'm thinking about I don't know, man. Over what about? I, I was liking the over 47 in Jacksonville, San Diego. Now it's up to 47 Ooh. and a half or 48. Why not? Why you not? Got, you yeah. got two arms that are capable yeah. each of throwing now, four Keenan touchdowns. Keenan Allen is out, but which is which and is and a knock. Both defenses. Knock. I mean, Jacksonville right, right, probably right. got the nod on defense, mm -hmm. but I don't know, man. I like that, Pete. Yeah, 47 or 47. That's and right half. up your alley, baby. Yeah, and then and then I was also thinking this is a high total, but if you look at what Arizona does at home, they can have home games that go into the 50s. Yeah, and I was thinking about one. over 50. Pissed. Yeah, I, I, over I 50 would, in Tampa Bay, yeah. Arizona. And Tampa Bay, you might not like them as a team to get no, covers, but, but they, they, have some, they, have some, they have some weapons on offense. And they offense. do, and i got to say this, because I'm telling you right now, I'll put my tail between my legs when mm -hmm. it's called for, but uh, Jameis Winston last week showed me something. So maybe that kid grew up a little mm -hmm. bit, uh, you know, over the summer or yeah. whatever the hell it was. But <laughs> but I'm still not convinced yet, because that is the same guy that was stealing stone crab claws or some right. kind of stuff. He got, he got caught for it. Right. So with that being said, though, that could be a high total, because both those offenses are potent. Yeah. And Mike Evans is the real deal yeah. at WR, wide yeah. receiver, buddy. Absolutely. All right. I got to think about this. Uh, is there anything God, else, is, is there anything else that you want to add, Mike Renner? Add on to our... Uh, <sighs> and, and, oh, no, another one I'm thinking about. This is a little bit might be a little bit uh, sneaky here. Uh, Casey and Houston, I'm thinking about the over at 43. I, well, I talked about that with a friend of mine Did on the you? phone. I promise you, Say Pete. What? Yes, because you, you literally got two quarterbacks that should... I mean... There's no doubt that Smith can put it up. Yeah. He can do it. And they and get got it. like a tight end who's yeah. really like very put up good. And that yard. tight end played a big role last yeah. week in their comeback in the second half. Yeah. Now you got another team that gained so much confidence after mm -hmm. week one. You got a quarterback, and you got to admit this: no matter about the 117 million dollar contract that he signed, <laughs> where did this shit come from? I remember right, it. It's right. sick. All right, here's the deal: that kid was walking on eggshells the whole time. Did I do mm -hmm. the right thing? Leaving the Broncos. What yeah. did I do? What did right. I do? And guess what happens? First game, he puts out a gem. Looks like a champ. Got a team that backed him 100. percent A dangerous defense. Yeah. Woo! Look out, baby. All right, I will do it. I'll add over 43 minus uh, minus 108. I can get at Heritage, uh, KC, and Houston over 43. I'm a believer in. I think KC still has a reputation okay. of being a team that plays a very very conservative offense. Of course, they started opening up a little bit just like, like a have. year or two ago. Yep. It wasn't. And guess why? Because they've had a couple holes yeah. in that defense. And when that happens, baby, you better start doing something on the other side. And I think finally that coach looked at Alex Smith and said, mm -hmm. "You know what? San Francisco was crazy to get mm -hmm. rid of you." Yeah. All right, Mike Brenner. I guess that is. Does that wrap? It up. Is there anything else you want to add? Pete, I could talk for hours with you on the camera. Let's just get real, for real. Okay. So, so is yeah. that about it? We're done. That's about it. But guess what? We also do have to talk about. Remember mm -hmm. Jordan? Come on, don't That's forget right. Jordan, my buddy. Sometimes props can be some of the best ways to uh, to bet these uh, to bet these uh, games, obviously. And Jordan Sharp does his research. That yes. guy is Mr. Research when it comes to a prop. So even if you don't want to tail his picks, just listening to what he has to say, when you come out of that video, you'll be much more knowledgeable as far as the props that you're thinking about betting for all these NFL games. And those videos, I think, will come out. They come out every week. I think they come out yep. on Saturday, right? Sure do, and it'll be up and ready. And Jordan knows his stuff. He's yeah, very he good at that. And guys, also don't forget OCDPicks.com. And next week, we're going to have the categories for college football, NFL. So you're going to get all the picks instead of just Major League Baseball and WNBA. So don't forget to check it out. OC do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.